We're going to film right Mondays. Before we get into questions, just wanted to remind you that you only have two weeks left until the deadline for the next Money Challenge. So you have been reminded. Consider yourself reminded. Questions. First question, any resource for learning VFX? I'm totally new to it, and while tutorials are great for learning special effects, I'm looking for any online courses, websites, etc., which can help me to learn from the ground up and gain a better understanding of visual effects as a whole. Thanks. There's a lot of places online. Definitely the stuff that we do isn't ground up sort of a thing. We definitely have covered all the bases uh, if you watch from the beginning, but it's not really a point A to point Z sort of thing. It's more of a way to think about stuff. So I do see what you're saying. A good place for that actually would be Video Copilot. He put out many, many years ago, so it is a bit dated to this point, but still very relevant. Uh, an After Effects training course that goes through a lot of that. We're actually working on an After Effects 101 course now, but that'll be more about how to use the software and less about how to do visual effects from the ground up. A really good site for that would be uh, FXPHD. Uh, Lynda.com is another really good one that you can go to to learn a lot of that stuff. And I mean, really just scrubbing the internet for all things visual effects and then trying stuff is really the way to go. I don't think you're gonna find one specific course that's this from start to finish education that you're looking for. I think it's more about gaining the experience of all these different places that are putting out this information and you just making things one after another. That will cause uh, the understanding that you're looking for, I think. Any tips on visual comedy, getting a laugh out of editing, staging, framing, etc., and maybe how to tie that into the writing as well. I love comedy and have an idea of what makes things funny, but have no idea how to get those moments out of a screenplay or how to communicate it to my cast and crew. I think that's a really difficult thing to answer and to communicate because I think like horror, comedy is very subjective, but it's also very, eclectic. What you might think is funny is not what I think it's funny. And you know, the pacing of this is funny to me, but not to you. It's also culturally based. It's all about setups and payoffs and whatnot. So it's a hard thing to communicate, but I can tell you that when writing, the way that I write comedy personally is I call it ad-lib writing. I don't think about it too much. I just write. I just let things pour out and I do it quickly and I do it while I'm in a good mood. And I try to make myself laugh by just being spontaneous with things. And that has molded itself into a process that really works for me. And then in the edit, it's all about feeling it out. When is it funny? Trying things, showing it to people, seeing how they react and then going from there. It's not too dissimilar from anything else, but it is definitely a very specific thing. As far as communicating it to the cast and crew, the best way to do that is to have a read of it, to read through it with people so they can get the tempo that you're thinking, the style that you're thinking, how things are said and why it's funny in those moments. Having them just read the script might not do it. I've done it with a few of the uh, projects that we've done that was comedy. Instead of just having everybody read it individually, we all came together and we read it as a group and people were laughing out loud and it showed me where some jokes weren't working. But I think more than anything else, just like with everything else, it's really experience that's gonna help you dial that in because it's unfortunately one of the many things that aren't as much technical as it is just personal and it's something that you need to just find. Is there a reason that I would get a cine style lens other than another zoom lens, like I can buy an 18 through 135 millimeter lens and have all those focal lengths other than just buying a 50 millimeter cin lens? Because I was looking at buying more lenses, but thinking of that, I'm unsure now. What you're actually talking about there is called a prime lens, which is a fixed focal length like the 50 millimeter. The other would be called the zoom lens. So those are the two different style lenses. You can have a zoom lens that's also a cinema lens. Cinema lenses are just of a higher quality and standard and they're built out for that sort of work. So they'll have the gears on them for follow focus and things like that. The prime lenses sometimes can be a nicer lens than a zoom lens because you have less glass inside the lens so you can get a clearer, sharper image and you can often have it a little bit faster so it can go down to like a two or a one or whatever. Zoom lenses often will not. And if you're going on the lower budget end, a lot of zoom lenses will shift the iris as you zoom in. So if you start at a three, as you zoom in, it ends up at like a five. So those are things to keep in mind. And again, if you're going budget, you have all that glass inside the lens, so it could degrade the image a little bit. So sometimes going with a prime lens is a little bit nicer of an image. However, I love my 24 through 105 millimeter L series lens because that's really nice glass in there. So it's handled very well with a 24 through 70 millimeter lens also from Canon. Those are really nice lenses. So it just depends on what budget bracket you're in and what you're looking for exactly. 
either one is probably gonna work out for you to start with anyway. My friend and I are working on the same project, but we do not see each other often. I'm responsible for the editing and he's responsible for the visual effects and animations. We both use Adobe CC, but on each of his own computers. So no dynamic link from his After Effects to my Premiere, any advice for a proper workflow. If you both have the same footage on your computers and you're on the same operating systems and they both have the same path to that footage, you could probably share the project files with each other over a cloud service like Dropbox or something similar. Otherwise, the best way to work would probably be through something like Frame.io, which we did a whole episode on it right here. So check that out. You could send stuff back to each other um, and give notes and then just send final versions back and forth. That would probably be your best bet overall, I'd say. Last question, any tips on how to promote your short? That's definitely something difficult to answer because I don't think anybody can quantify what makes something very popular just yet. I mean, you got people who even think they're social media gurus and they'll tell you they know exactly how to get you followers and how to get you more subscribers, but they don't really have a following or a subscriber base themselves. So there's no exact formula. It's difficult to sort of dial in, but there are some things that you can do. Obviously make the best product you can possibly make, something that people wanna see, that I would pass around to my friends if I did see it. And then you can send it to blogs, you can send it to places like Short, uh, short of the Week. There's a lot of places that showcase these. Uh, definitely putting it on Vimeo and YouTube and Facebook, just across as many platforms as you can where people watch them. One friend of mine a long time ago did say though, the cream always rises to the top. Meaning if what you're putting out is really good, eventually it's gonna gain traction. So don't think of things in views, just think of things in trying to make the best content you possibly can, just the coolest stuff you possibly can, and just keep doing it, keep going after it, keep trying to spread the word, and uh, if it's good enough, eventually it's going to get traction. If you're someone who struggles with tax stuff, listen up. Our friends at FreshBooks have created ridiculously simple cloud accounting software that helps service-based small business owners get a handle on their paperwork. FreshBooks keeps all your cash flow details in one place so you know exactly what invoices you sent, who has paid you what, and what your income is. Their mobile app lets you take pictures of your receipts and organize them for later, which makes claiming expenses at tax time a breeze, and you'll be so much more prepared and way less stressed. And right now, FreshBooks is offering a free 30-day trial to our viewers. Just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film right and enter film right in the how did you hear about us section logo so that's it for today which means it's time for my suggestion of the week this one comes from matt workman it's called cinematography database his youtube channel is pretty fantastic he's always putting out some amazing information that you really don't get from pretty much anywhere else so definitely check that out right here and we have a new production coming up we're shooting this thursday friday and saturday on a very large production for us. We're very excited about it. Flying in some pretty amazing talent, shooting with Ryan Booth as well. It's going to be great. So make sure you're following our social channels, which you can find in the notes below. I'll be tweeting out for sure. I'll probably do some Periscope, maybe some Snapchat stuff. So definitely follow us on all that so you can keep up with what we're doing. And until next week, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.